How would you describe these objects? How about red? Or shiny? Maybe rough? Light? Or heavy? When you describe an object's color, texture, size, or shape, you're describing its properties. Over time, people have learned how to manipulate matter to make things that have properties with the characteristics they want. Soft, hard, smooth, bouncy, or heavy. Think about the way transportation has changed over time. The first steam locomotives in the 19th century were made mostly of iron, a material known for its high tensile strength. An object's tensile strength is how much it can be stretched without breaking. Iron is also malleable, which means its shape can be changed easily. Iron is easy to hammer into thin sheets. Tensile strength and malleability are also properties of matter. Iron is even stronger when it's combined with carbon. When you heat up iron and carbon to very high temperatures, you can make steel. Steel is both strong and durable, which means it won't wear out quickly. These properties make steel more useful than iron for building almost anything that needs these properties. Strength and durability are also properties of matter. But you wouldn't want to build an airplane out of steel. For that, you need aluminum, a material that's light but still strong. The Wright brothers' first airplane engine had an aluminum crankcase and lightweight aluminum is still used in all types of aircraft to this day. It's also used in high-speed trains and some cars, too. The properties of matter help us make decisions about the things we buy. For example, today, color is one of the key factors we consider when choosing a new car. But it wasn't always even an option. When Henry Ford started selling Model T cars more than 100 years ago, he told his customers, you can have any color as long as it's black. But as the technology of paints improved, cars were painted in all different colors. Bike manufacturers are always finding new ways to manipulate matter to make bikes lighter, yet still durable. Bike chains are another thing that bike manufacturers are in a quest to improve. Traditional chains get grimy and dirty because their metal links need to be greased, and that attracts dirt. But now bike companies are using new materials to replace these chains with grease-free alternatives, such as plastic cables. One company in Hungary makes cables using a plastic called polyethylene. It's the most common plastic in the world. Polyethylene can be made into soft plastic water bottles. It can be made much more rigid. It's one of the most remarkably versatile plastics out there. Polyethylene gives bike cables the strength of metal, but the cables don't need to be greased, so they stay cleaner, longer, and never rust. Some scientists work in a field called materials science, understanding how matter is put together and trying to design improved materials. Materials scientists experiment with materials that can make bikes lighter, cars tougher, boats more scratch resistant, and train brakes more shock resistant all characteristics that help make travel safer and more efficient. So take a look around, pick an object and describe five of its physical properties. Then ask yourself, what materials are giving them those characteristics?